so good it's like you know certain smells make you so attracted to something this is what this palette does to me hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the amazing sweet semi wait can we can we go back um <laughs> the semi sweet chocolate bar palette i got this back in october and i love it it is so so beautiful if you guys know me personally you guys know that i am such a sucker for neutral colors neutral colors are just the colors that i use for my everyday go-to look because they basically match with almost everything to take a little sneak peek on this palette um if you guys can tell it is like super 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 pretty the colors are all pretty much neutral you have your shimmers here and then you have your matte colors this peanut butter is such a beautiful transition shade and then you have this bold blue that's like the most bold color out of the whole palette and i think that it is so so gorgeous but i have not found any outfits yet to wear it or maybe I'm just too scared because it is that bold for me but yeah that's just uh, the inside of the palette and it looks so 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 pretty and y'all I'm pretty sure you guys all know this but when you open oh, it smells so 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 good I can never like open it and not smell it you know what I mean and like just looking at the names of each one of these shadows like licorice coconut cream truffled hot fudge like you can't even open this palette without even getting hungry so I absolutely love this palette and this look that I did today is using some of the colors from this palette so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get into it alrighty so first I'm going to start off by priming my eye I have already done that um, before I started the video so first things first I'm going to grab my handy dandy Sephora brush this came in a bundle so I'm not really sure what specific brush this is but I will make sure to put it in the description down below so I'm grabbing that coconut cream color first and this is going to serve as my base it's just going to make sure that my eye is a little bit more brightened and that all the colors blend nicely together so I'm just going to pack that on all over my entire eyelid area and I don't really have a specific way of doing this I'm just going to put it all over until I have the desired brightness so now moving on to the next color, I'm going to be taking that beautiful peanut butter shade that I had mentioned earlier on in the video. And I'm going to be taking the edge of my priming potion bottle and putting it to the edge of my eye. That way I can have a really defined eyeshadow look. And I'm going to be taking that peanut butter starting from the outer part of my eye and dragging it into the inner part of my eye using small circular motions. And then I'm going to be going on to Bon Bon. I feel like Bon Bon is the glittery version of peanut butter, so I'm going to be packing it right on top to intensify that transition shade. Starting once again from the outer part of my eye, going all the way to the inner part. So now I'm going to be taking that put in shade. And just a little tip, whenever you use that edge for your eyeshadow, it's going to help you find direction whenever you're applying your winged eyeliner. So now I'm going to be putting the put-in on the outer part of my eye, really not focusing onto the center as much because this is just going to add depth. And make sure to blend it out nicely so you don't get any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be taking that truffled shade. And I'm going to be packing it right on top of where I put put in, but notice that I'm dragging it to the center lower part of my eye. Once again, this is just going to add depth. Make sure to blend nicely so there are no harsh lines. And now I'm going to be taking Cocoa Chili. So yummy! And I'm going to be packing it right on top of where I put Truffled. Next I'm going to be taking that Hot Fudge color. 
and I'm going to be packing it right on top of where I put cocoa chili. So literally I'm just packing up all those dark browns so I can add that nice depth to my eye. Now I am going to put on caramel, caramel, however you pronounce it. And I'm going to pack it starting on the inner part of my eye and taking it to the middle, making sure that it blends with all the other colors very nicely. So we don't have any harsh lines, we just kind of want it to go very gradual. And can I see a little bit of that eyebrow work? Yes, girl. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking that beautiful butter pecan shade that is the highlight shade in the palette and I'm going to be putting that on my brow bone also make sure that you blend it with the eyeshadow that you put on before so you don't have any harsh lines and it blends all nicely and then we stop and pause and just appreciate what we've done a little bit you know what I'm saying it's a lot of hard work and now moving on to eyeliner, I am using the L'Oreal Liquid Eyeliner in the shade N601. I have been using this eyeliner for forever now just because it is so easy to apply. And notice I am starting on the outer part of my eye first and then I'm going to move on to my wing. The inner part of my eye is usually what I focus on later on. Oh yes, yeah, self check, self check. Very necessary girlfriend. And finally going back with those short strokes, control is key when you're doing eyeliner. Next moving on to my mascara. I am using the Hypno Star by Lancome. I absolutely love this mascara. It does not clump and it just makes your eyes look very poppy and open. self-check once again. <laughs> now moving on to my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm going to be filling in my brows. I am in the shade Dark Brown. Literally my eyebrows look like tarantula legs. Do not mind them. <laughs> Taking this spoolie of course you're going to brush it out and be filling it in with small strokes. Fill in those tarantula legs girl. Fill them in. And I'm going to be taking this Sephora brush once again. It came in my bundle. I think you use it for eyebrows, but I'm going to use it to outline my lower lash line with some eyeshadows, starting with peanut butter. Put too much there. <laughs> and I'm going to start from the lower outer part of my eye and take it to the middle. I am not going to be dragging it all the way to the center of my eye. Make sure not to dust your eye. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking truffle and I'm going to be packing it right on top of peanut butter. Just blending it out nicely to add that depth to the lower part of your eye. Next moving on to blush, I'm going to be taking that cover girl in the shade 200 medium rose using this big fluffy brush. Once again it came in my bundle. Moving on to highlighters now, I am taking my packet from Laura Mercier. Look at them colors, girl, yes! I'm going to be taking that top right color and putting it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose. So now moving on to lips, the first thing you should always do is moisturize your lips, especially when applying matte lipsticks like I am about to do. I am taking my Maybelline lipstick in the shade 660. It is called Touch of Spice. It is very matte. It's like a really dark, dark nude. I know on the camera it kind of looks pink, but it's actually a really dark nude pre-color. And it seemed a little too harsh for the outfit that I was going for, so I am taking my Anastasia Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Pure Hollywood. And I'm just gonna dab it with my fingers, get rid of those harsh edges and make it blend very nicely until I get the desired light effect that I would like. So that is it for today's makeup 
tutorial. I think this look is really good if you're just gonna go like to a daytime casual hangout with friends. That's usually what I wear this look for. Once again, this was my first ever, so I promise I will get better, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys ever recreate this a look, I would like to see how you guys did so. And if you guys have another version of a look using the semi-sweet chocolate bar, I would love to see it, so make sure to link that down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more makeup tutorials like this one, probably improve later on. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!